Now we've come to the shaper table. For the shapers, we're going to focus on just shaper number four. This is the decorative edge bit. We're going to use this board and put a nice decorative edge all the way around it. It'll look like a plaque or a drawer front or something nice that we'll be able to use later. So look at your piece. Which face is your best face? Now I see some ripples left that weren't sanded out. That's okay, but I, this is my best face right here and I want my best face down. On the shaper, we always cut end grain first. And whenever we do end grain, we have to use a backing board so we minimize the tear out. The backing board goes behind. Remember to keep these tight together all the way through. So this has a stop on it so you can't continue all the way through with the, with the uh, backing board. Keep them tight. So this is the mistake students make, having their hands too far apart. This will move, and if it shifts, it's as if this isn't here. You're still gonna get a bad cut and you're gonna get a lot of tear out because then there's no, it's not tight. I put my hand right here. There's still three inches and my palm is still on the backing board and I'm wrapping my fingers around so I can keep them tight together. That is really important. Hold it down, do both end grains and then both edge grains. Remember, when you're done, what you're looking for is that the corners match up. They're the same depth. If you see any corners that one is higher than the other, whatever reason you didn't hold it down, go ahead and cut it again to make sure it looks really good. Get the practice. Last but not least, make sure that your name is back on it on the back side so that uh, you have a nice looking plaque when you're done.